Hi, Mike Safe here with World Class Coaching and we've had lots of questions about our new member drills database. Uh, how to log in, how does this compare with a printed magazine, the free drills database that we offer, uh, who qualifies, who gets access and so on. So I'm going to try and answer as many of those as I can today and also show you uh, some of the functions of the member drills database. Uh, so who has access to the member drills database? Well, if you have a current subscription to the printed magazine, uh, you can have access to the member drills database. Or if you have actually subscribed to the member drills database since we launched it uh, on January 1st, 2011, then of course you'll get access to the member drills database. So those are the only two ways that you can get access to the member drills database. Now, uh, basically what we've done is the January, February 2011 issue of the printed magazine is the last printed issue. Uh, we will no longer be doing any more printed issues. We will actually be publishing them uh, every month as a digital issue. And the digital issue will be part of the member drills database. So I'll explain that a little more further on once we actually look at the member drills database because that has lots of other, of other publications as well as being uh, updated every month with the World Class Coaching Magazine Digital Edition. Uh, so that will become a little more apparent uh, later. Now, if you subscribe to the printed magazine or you've subscribed to the member drills database and you don't have login information, you haven't received an email from us, then please email us, and I'm going to show you the email address here. Uh, please email us at this address, cs at worldclasscoaching.com, uh, and we'll check that out for you and send you the relevant login information. Okay, so let's have a look now. The first thing you want to know is how to log in to the Member Drills database. And you can see here at the top of our page in this blue area towards the right hand side, uh, the top link here is Member Login. So click that link and it will take you to the login page. Now you log in with your email address here and the password. And like I said, if you don't have that information, then contact us uh, at the email address I showed you just a second ago. So I've got my password already in there, and I'm going to click Login. And it will bring me to this page. Now here I can update my account and credit card information and so forth. But this link here at the top, Drills Database, if you click that, it will open up the page and it has member drills database here at the top in red. Now below that it has text on uh, information and how some of the functions work of the member drills database. Now what I want to do here is just show you what the member drills database includes. So you'll see a bunch of thumbnails of the various publications that we have. There's lots of them, there's over 30 of them I believe. Now, at the top, we have the World Class Coaching Magazines. Now, like I said, we're going to publish a digital version of the World Class Coaching Magazine every month from now on. This is the January issue, and you've got placeholders here where we'll put the February, March, April, May, and, and the rest of the year's issues in there as we publish them. Below that, you've got the last five years issue so here you've got the January uh, sorry the 2010 issues all six of them we've got to all the 2009 issues eight seven and six so we've got five years issues there and we plan on uploading every single issue that we've ever published from 1998 uh, all the way to 2005 so that you will have the complete 12 years issues of the magazine every single issue that we've ever published will be available in here Below that, we've got publications separated by session topics. So as you can see, we've got Dutch sessions, Italian sessions, possession, golden goals, goalkeeper sessions, and so forth. If you scroll down, you'll see systems of play, pro youth academies, technical tactical warm-ups, small-sided games. Here we've got conditioning sessions and lots of others. Here are a couple of placeholders where we plan on uh, publishing new uh, new publications uh, at some point in the future. Below that, 
we've got age group training. So we've actually got separate publications. So if you're a coach of a, uh, let's say, a under seven, eight or 19, you could click this one here and it will show you training sessions specifically geared towards under seven, eight and nine year olds. Um, below that, we've got, again, some more thumbnail placeholders here where we plan on uploading uh, some more age group training sessions. So we're going to have quite a lot of information there. This actually adds up, I think, to about 5,000 pages of training sessions that are all accessible uh, by, uh, as part of our member drills database. All right, so let's have a look at what happens once you click one of these thumbnails. Let's have a look at the January issue. So I'm going to click the January issue. And uh, as you can see here, the January issue opens up in a new window. Uh, a new tab, sorry, and depending on the speed of your internet, it should just take a few seconds to open. And uh, so let's just have a look. Now, once it's open, you can turn pages over this method here, just getting putting your mouse on the bottom corner, or you could click this m icon here and turn the pages over that way. Um, or you could actually use the bookmarks, and the bookmarks is a real neat. Uh, tool because basically what it does it gives you a table of contents uh, of all the articles in that publication so for instance if you wanted to look at the under 17 Canadian national team session you would click that and boom it would take you right to that article if you wanted to click playing through balls it would take you right to that article um, now another thing that you could do is use the search option which is this little magnifying glass here if you click that and let's say you want to look for something uh, on shooting you would type that in there press enter and it would bring up the pages that shooting was included in there so you could see page 22 here it would take you directly to that page 7 it would take you directly to that and it would have something involved with shooting within that uh, session or within that article uh, so let's just close that the other thing you can do as you can see your mouse becomes a magnifying glass because that text is a little small to read so you would click on that and it would bring up uh, the page in larger size and you can scroll with your mouse wheel and make that smaller or larger uh, and you can print that directly from here now we're working on a better print function where you can print more than one page at a time but right now uh, you can just print one page at a time so if you click on that it would take you back to uh, the regular view now another part that is real neat is uh, including actual movie clips uh, within the publication and we plan to do this in the future where we would include a movie clip of the actual drill or exercise that, that's explained in the uh, in the article so we've got an example here in this January issue uh, if you click the soccer conditioning game speed uh, as you can see here it brings up uh, an actual movie clip of what the drill is that is explaining in this article and if you click to magnify it it will actually magnify uh, the movie clip as well so we think that's pretty neat and we plan to do that uh, more often uh, in uh, it, when we release future publications so I'm going to do that let's go back to the Canadian under 17 national team session and that's some of the functions in, in there now we've done other movie clips that you can find on our YouTube page that describe more of the functions in, in more detail uh, but let's just go back to this page here um, and let's for example have a look at uh, the 2010 issues so if you click the 2010 issues again you'll see it will open up in a new tab here um, and it should take just a few seconds to load and then once it's loaded you can uh, best way really is to go and have a look at the bookmarks and you can have a look and you can see all the actual articles within that one so if you wanted to look at uh, IX Academy receiving under pressure you click that and it would take you directly uh, to that page so that's how 
the uh, member drills database works, who can log on, how you log on, uh, and so on and so forth. And like I said, if you have any questions, then please feel free to email us at this email address at cs at worldclasscoaching.com.